Year's Eve in Dunk City. And before the ball drops at midnight, it'll be soaring above the rim today at Alico Arena as FGCU entertains Florida Tech in the final game on the 2016 calendar. So excited to be with you. I'm Tom James alongside my partner, Jay Webb Horton. What better way to take you up to the college football playoff at 3 o'clock on ESPN than with a little college hoops, Jay Webb, and a team in FGCU that is very interested in making a postseason run of its own in 2017. Well, let me tell you, they're playing Florida Tech. Don't sleep on them. They got the three-headed monster with Anderson, Majors, and Dan. They can flat out score. So once again, we said this before, don't play the name, play the game. And the Eagles have got to play very well today. Tell us about our impact players to watch. Well, number one, when you look at Florida Tech, you're looking at Sam Daniel. I mean, he leads him in three-point field goals. He had 20-plus points last night in their overtime loss. And then in the Eagles, Dunk City, we well, got 36 dunks. You're leading Dunk City, aren't you? And that's Demetrius Morant. So Morant inside. You got Daniels outside. Hey, let's tee it up and play ball. FGCU coming in 10 and 5. Winners of 9 of 11. Florida Tech is 9 and 5. Your starting lineups, Majors and Daniel, can certainly light it up, averaging 22 points a game each for Florida Tech. And of course, Christian Terrell, season highs in points and rebounds last week in that game at FAU as we're underway from Alico Arena. Eagles in the home whites. Florida Tech in the road gray uniforms. FGCU certainly very tough here at Alico Arena. 7-1 at home this season. 66-12 here since that magical 2013 season. A foul going along the baseline. Zach Johnson. Well, you see that Florida Tech is coming out right now in a zone trying to uh, create the ability to negate some of these uh, three-point shooters by the Eagles. And they throw it away on the inbounds pass. That was intended for Kevin Mickle, who is starting his fourth consecutive game for the Eagles. And Billy Mims, we had a great time talking to him before the game. Jay Webb, his 11th season at Florida Tech. Been in coaching at different levels for over three decades, including some time spent in Europe. Great guy. Uh, outstanding guy. And uh, we'll have to make sure that we uh, we promise that we give a shout out to Marvin and Esther Mims up there in Monk's Corner, South Carolina, baby. As Majors knocks down the shot from the free throw line and the Panthers with the early lead. Man, we said Monk's and Majors said, I'm going to make mom and dad happy up there. <laughs> That's right. A minute gone here in the first half. In southwest Florida. And a steal. And all the way with it, Majors is fouled. So what a start for the redshirt junior from Hopkinsville, Kentucky, Jordan Majors. Offensively with that shot and then a little pickpocket here on the defensive end. Well, people are going Florida Tech. Joe Dooley, 75 wins already in four seasons here at FGCU. In consecutive 20-win seasons as Majors misses the first free throw. And Rayshon Scott quickly into the game, replacing Mickle for FGCU. Well, Jordan Majors is an 82% free throw shooter, so surprised that he uh, missed that first one. Gets the roll on the second one, and it's a three-point lead early for the Panthers. Here's Terrell with the basketball, really having a great season for the Eagles. Now you're seeing man-to-man -man defense here. Zach Johnson, the pull-up just inside the three-point line. No good, but Morant skying for the rebound and a fight for it. He comes out of there but can't close the deal. Well, this is uh, under the boards because both teams have some uh, height and length there. It's not going to be a, a night for the weak of heart. No question. The Panthers put up a lot of big numbers, averaging nearly 90 points a game. And Patrick Anderson drops it home. And Joe Dooley has seen enough of this in the first couple of minutes. It's 6 to nothing quickly in favor of Florida Tech. How about a start like this for the Panthers? Well, the Panthers 
we know can put up points. They're averaging almost, you know, 90 points a game. Yeah. So when you average 90 points a game, quick starts have been sort of the way they've been going. Well, Jay Webb, this is a team that didn't pull into Dunk City in the bus last night until well after 1.30 a.m. They had to play a game last night over in Boca Raton against the Lynn that was a 7.30 tip-off, a game that they uh, ultimately lost to Lynn. It went overtime. Florida Tech lost 102 to 94. They did rally from a 17 point deficit to force OT before falling. So they didn't do their morning shoot around. Coach Mims gave them a little extra sleep time. Three pointer from the corner, no good. And the Panthers with some early confidence here against the favored Eagles. Here's Majors, can he do it again? It's short on the three. Well, you don't want to be short when you're a jump shooter. Get a little arc up there, a little air underneath. Demetrius Morant, already a couple of rebounds. Two and a half minutes gone, first half. Zach Johnson, what a move all the way, but can't find the hoop. A good move by Zach Johnson there. And the Eagles have had a couple of good looks like that. Morant was right there at the rim a couple of times earlier. You see, coaches, they don't like good looks. They like good makes. Talk about the size of Florida Tech. Daniel dropping the three from the left wing. And who would have thunk it, Jay Webb? 9-0 Florida Tech, a D2 school from Melbourne. Well, they came to play. Brandon Goodwin no good on the three, but it's tapped back outside. Florida Tech plays out of the Sunshine State Conference. Here's a good one. There's Rayshon Scott, no good. And they just won't fall here in the early going for FGCU. Well, and Rayshon Scott's a very, very solid outside shooter for the Eagles. Anderson all the way to the hole and draws the foul. That's going to go against Zach Johnson, FGCU's redshirt sophomore. Not sure if that's a shooting foul. Yes, it is. So Anderson goes to the free throw line and can give Florida Tech a double digit lead here on New Year's Eve. Well, the good thing for the Eagles is this is a marathon, not a sprint. And this is on the first free throw. Once again, Anderson's a 87% free throw shooter. And don't sleep on uh, Patrick Anderson. He's one of the, he's the third guy for this Panthers team that averages in double figures nearly 14 a game. Part of this high octane Florida Tech offense. We did call them uh, the three headed monster. He makes one of two. 10 zip Florida Tech. Underneath Morant, he catches it and up and under. And the Eagles finally on the board nearly four minutes into the game. Here's Anderson, very talented team. Jay Webb, this Florida Tech program. And Anderson loses the handle. Zach Johnson, two on one break with Morant. Left his feet a little early for the dunk, but Morant yeah. right there to clean it up. Yeah, he uh, didn't get his steps down for the dunk. The Eagles may be leading the nation in missed dunks. Well, in Dunk City, they attempt a lot of them. Not all will go. Milligan with a little fade away. And the lead back up to eight hey, for the Panthers. Milligan, a head shake. Like, I don't think you can guard me, buddy. Panthers feeling really good about themselves here in the early going. And a foul on the perimeter against Robert Booth. He's the only local kid from Melbourne on this Florida Tech team. We take you to our first media timeout with 15.01 left to play. First half, the Panthers, surprisingly, by eight. Together we shine. We elevate student-athletes to create a better world. Blaze the path. 
Undaunted, we challenge norms. To enlighten and innovate. It's a new day. For no matter the height of our obstacles. They will never block the sun. We can connect. Put student athletes first. Impact. Rise. Every day. Championship action is when the A-Sun is at its finest. That's why you'll want to visit asunphotos.com. A-Sun Photos is present at every A-Sun Championship, capturing the action, including those must-have shots that you may have missed or want to save for a memory. We understand your passion. So when you want to relive those favorite moments, players, and special memories, start with the experts from asunphotos.com. It started with land and a grand plan to build a university, protect biodiversity, shape engineers and pioneers, explore frontiers and spark careers, and serve local regions through the work of collegians to chase dreams, cheer teams, teach, share, improve, and prepare to bring minds awake and give back more than we take. To build a school of wonders where communities connect, inspiring those who inspire others. That's the FGCU effect. Welcome back to Lico Arena. Jay Webb, our coconut point forward, keys to the game. Well, Florida Tech, they want to fight fatigue. They had a late night last night. Didn't get into Dunk City until around 2 a.m. this morning. And they've got to contain the FGCU shooters, which they've done. FGCU, solid defense, offensive flow, none of which they've done so far. The FGCU resting a couple of players today that are regulars, Rajon Tucker and Reggie Reed. Nothing serious in terms of injury, just Days off for a couple of those guys. And Mark Eddie Norelia here today, but not in the lineup. Here's Brandon Goodwin. Scott, no good. And a fight for it. Scott gets it back in a fresh shot clock. Zach Johnson. Let's get one of those 50-50 balls that Carlisle helped contain for the Eagles. Johnson thought about it. Now pulls up just inside the three-point line and comes in and out. Well, the Eagles are, once again, like I said, they're getting good looks, but you need good makes. Here's Majors with it. This is maybe the longest that uh, the... Uh, Anderson. Anderson is... And a foul on the floor, and Coach Billy Mims, with the short night that his team had last night, told us before the game he might try to take the air out of the ball a little bit this afternoon. He did on that possession. Well, see, I thought with the bigs there that that should have been a play on. Anderson with it. And the three-pointer, Sam Daniel, no good. Christian Terrell. Quickly across midcourt. Goodwin all the way and draws the foul. We'll see, he's got such athleticism. You're going to see him here, a little hesitation, and then goes by the big with, with the kiss off the glass. And with the right hand, and Brandon Goodwin. A little hoop and some harm there. An incredible instant impact that he has made on this FGCU team since transferring over from UCF. And Goodwin can't get the roll on the free throw. Out of bounds it goes, and it will belong to the Eagles. Well, Goodman is 76% free throw shooter there. Terrell, a quick rise and fire, and bangs home the three. Well, Tara, one of the best three-point shooters in the country, said, let me end this drought. My team's thirsty. <laughs> he can shoot it. Nearly 50% from three-point range on the season. Good one out in front. Great job of altering the shot and scoring the bucket. And getting away from the contact. A quick trap that Florida Tech is able to break out of. Now it's a one-point game. A 7-0 FGCU run. Daniel off the glass, and he will go to the free throw line. And 
Florida Tech. Now trying to absorb FGCU's punch well, and listen, come right back. Anderson, Majors, and Daniels, they were recruited by D1 programs. So these are players that can play at a high level of basketball. And what do we say? Don't play the name, play the game. Without question. And Daniel completes the three-point play. He's a 6'7 junior from Kingsland, Georgia. And back up to a four-point lead. Mickle is Christian Carlisle has checked into the ball game for the Eagles. As we tick under 13 minutes left to play here in the opening half. Terrell down the baseline with the left hand. We'll see when you can make that outside shot, they got to play back and then dribble penetration off the glass. And this time Coach Mims wants to talk about it with his crew. A 30-second timeout. And Jay Webb talked about Mark Eddie Norelia, who is here today on the bench with the team, but not dressed for the game. It's been quite the saga with Norelia, who's last year's leading scorer for the Eagles. He practiced with the team on Thursday. It was the first time he'd done that in two weeks. He has missed the last four games. He's not traveled with the team even, citing personal issues. Well, you know, we wish him well and hope he finds his path back to helping the Eagles do what they uh, need to do, win the A-Sun and go to the NCAA tournament. Certainly an integral part of the run to the second round of the NCAA tournament a year ago for the Eagles. No question the talent that Norelia possesses. 12 and a half to play, first half, and a bump from Carlisle out on the perimeter. Well, see, and we know, Tom, because the emphasis last year and this year, not only contact inside, but out, one touch you're allowed outside, mm -hmm. and then you cannot touch again. Here's Majors with it, working it around to Anderson. And Daniel for three. No good. Tapped out of bounds. It'll belong to the Eagles. You know, we talk about Norelia, and he was really a double-double machine last season. And in his absence, and in the number of games that he's missed this year, Demetrius Morant has really filled that role in a lot of ways. Double doubles in three of his last five games. There's a pull up from 17 feet. Johnson no good. The offensive rebound clears it, and Johnson's got another chance, and this time he connects. Well, Left can't, wing. Can't, you know, shooters say, like, I've never missed four in a row. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the Eagles grab their first lead. And Johnson chases it down from behind. A fight for the ball with Milligan. And that'll take us to the break. FGCU has come alive here on New Year's Eve at Alico Arena. Lead Florida Tech by one. <laughs> 